Oh, let's do some reading. According to craniometric analysis by Mr. Kuhn, Aquilian noses in Africa are largely restricted to populations from North Africa and the Horn of Africa. That's the Afroasiatic situation. The Hermetic Semitic. It say, which is generally, which is more generally peopled by those of Semitic and Arab and other non-Negroid descent. Because think about it. It's a non-African nose. That's why it says non-Negroid descent. Because the Negroid nose is wide. We have wide nose and kinky hair. So that's a telltale. And then, and then, and then look where it's at. Egypt. T uh, Tanzania. That's where the East African slave trade kicked off. Egypt, desert, Morocco, desert, Eritrea, and that's the East African slave trade, Ethiopia, East African slave trade, Somalia, East African slave trade. That's East Africa, where the slave trade was at its finest, Somalian, Ethiopian, Tanzania, 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 wherever. Look, the Coptics, Philahen, I don't know what that is, Philahen of Egypt, it's, it's a bird nose, it's, it's a bird nasal passage. It's, it got the picture. And that's a Caucasian side by side with a bird. You see what I'm saying? That's a non-African nose. That's why it says non-Negroid descent. Because African people, black people, black people is the dominant group in Africa, meaning that they are the African people. That's why people say, I'm not African, I'm Egyptian. I'm not African, I'm this. I'm not African, I'm that. They're not African. You see what I'm saying? All that's the Arab world. All that's the Arab League. And all that's Afro-Asiatic. And that's where the East African slave trade was jumping off at. Headed by the Arabs. So headed by the Semitics and the Hermetics. So the Semitics and the Hermetics led the East African slave trade. A.K.A. the Indian Ocean slave trade. A.K.A. the Afro-Asiatic slave trade of African people. They got a narrow nose commonality. A connection. Phenotype and haplogroup. The E1, B1, B1 haplogroup produces narrow noses, lip to right noses, which is Caucasian. Huh? Look where it's at. Egypt, Tanzania. Look, Tanzania, that's where the slave trade was at its finest right there. Ethiopian, Somalia, that's where this, that's the East Africa where the slave trade was jumping off. This, this is all borders. This is all deserts. This is all, these are gatekeepers, border patrols. They're patrolling the border. That's where the slave trade was jumping off at. You look at the Muslim, Islamic, Arab invasion, enslavement. They invaded North Africa and went down to the east. You know, everybody invaded Africa. You know, whether it's the, the Catholics or the uh, Muslims. You see what I'm saying? And, and before anybody say, African was still in Africa, those was converted Africans. You know, they were either Muslim or, or Christian. You see what I'm saying? Or, or they wasn't African. They, you mean the Afro-Asiatics. Africans wasn't Southern Africans, the Afro-Asiatics or the converted Africans that way ain't African no more. You see what I'm saying? They didn't they didn't disassociate themselves from African people. Some people got nose jobs, skin lightness, and straightening hair. You know, they converted. We lost a lot of our people. Whether they was traded off or their mind was traded, swapped out. They didn't swapped out our mindsets. You know? And they came up with a, with, a, with a way so we won't be upset with our enemies, our, our, our enslavers, and our colonization and our indoctrination by giving us their education, by giving us their religion. Religion means to bind. So to be up in that religious prison, you know, they got all our people in some religious prison, whether it's the, the universe, that's, the, the, that's Hinduism, but they, that's, that's under the Indo-European, so that's the, another conqueror's tongue. Remember, they was trading us to India. You know, so that's how we know Hinduism in the universe and the, and the polarity and the duality because uh, that was a, one of the our enslavers, you know. Oh, I'm Asiatic. They got black people saying everything except we black people. I'm, 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 I'm Israelite. Israelite, now you're like. you team light, team bird. Remember, Africa was the dark continent, but now it ain't the, it, it's light at the top. That's what they got. Lights. On their flags and birds. I know stars are light. For those who don't know, a star is an illuminate. Illuminate, Illuminati. Muhammad was in that cave, you know, the cave of illumination. Buddha was in that cave, the cave of enlightenment. It's all light, it's all illumination. That's dealing with light. 
is real light. Is raw light. Is raw ill. So is raw bird head god, bird head sun god, L. L is God. So is Ra God? Is bird God? And remember, this is for educational purposes. So we're going to ruffle some feathers here tonight. We're going to shake up some caves. We're going to deepen them caves tonight, y'all. I said we're getting deep in them caves tonight. And we're looking for the bird noses. Huh? Why you think they was wearing that veil? I mean, they was wearing the veil. It only covered, look, the veil covered the nose, didn't it? So when they slide up under it with their melanated again, you go, oh, yeah, they're black. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Because -uh. black is Negroid. And they're not Negroid. Hermetic and Semitic is not Negroid. That means black. So black characteristics is wide nose and kinky hair. And if you want to bang the diversity, that means you ain't black. Because the diversity is either black or Eurasian. That's the diversity. Oh, okay, let's break it down. What are you? Mountain Asian or regular Asian? Because it's got the word Asian in both. Are you calm, which is mountain Asian? Or are you regular underground cave Asian with the tropical cave system that allows you to have a mezzarine nose instead of a lipterine nose? Because a lipterine nose is a is a mountain nose and a mezzarine nose is an under cave, underground cave tropical system. You see what I'm saying? That's how you know when they come from that underground cave. When the nose is mezzarine. But when the nose is lipterine, they come from that mountain cave. Huh? I said they come from that mountain cave. All the environments are the same. Deserts, arid temperature, rain 179 years. You know? Barren lands. That's why they invaded Africa. That's why they need to invade Africa and invade Africa resources. Right now and then. They have no home. They have no resource. And then when you look into the great achievement situation, all these great achievements are all around the times when they have Africans as slaves. Is y'all putting that connection together? Every time they come up with a little invention or they made this or they did what? You had slaves at that time. They don't have nothing until they have slaves. If you, if you, if you keep in the bars. If it was built, it was built by Africans. You see what I'm saying? They want to take credit. Just like a owner of a football team. He gets the trophy, you get the ring. So he takes the credit. You know? You fighting their wars, the, the U.S. take the credit. Now, they don't name the, the individuals like that. You get a flag over a casket. You get a flag over your casket. Oh, you died for this country. But this is the U.S. You don't make decisions for the U.S., or the Arab League, Arab World, or Europe, or or the United Nations, or United States, or United United Kingdom, Universe. This that one game. You and I means one. They made everything one. They didn't tower of Babel this situation. You know the cave. They didn't summon everybody to a summit. The summit is a cave. That's why you look at all these movies. It's all, they, all, all the production companies they got a cave. The summit. The the, the Paramount. It's caves. I mean, mountains. Well, there's caves in those mountains, so I ain't wrong either way. And if I'm wrong, I'm always wrong because I'm black. When you're in the black, you're in the wrong. And when you're in the wrong, you're in the black. When you're in the white, you're in the right. I say when you're in the right, you're in the white. And you're white when you're in the right. Because they they write your rights. Their right of passage is what they wrote with a bird feather. You know they was writing in bird feathers? So remember, the Egyptian gods, like birds, and they overhead. Dress like birds in America. You know, the Native Americans out here dress like birds. Their nose has been classified as Aquilian as well. So it's a lot of it's it's, it's a lot of birds. It's, it's, see, they they outbird us. See, see, we team snakes. So it's these bird people. It's too many bird people. We had a disadvantage, you know? We got different birds, falcons, eagles, eagles of Saladin, eagles of Zeus, eagles of Jupiter, bunch of eagles, on, birds on your mail, birds on your passport, birds on your money. It was taught the language of birds. They hold, the, feed the birds, hold the birds. It's a bird world. Ever since they came out of that cave, it's been planted bird, you know, birdery.